Well, it was a fixture in the community for nearly 50 decades, but tonight the ovens are cold at Aegean Pizza. The restaurant shutting its doors for the last time and News 12's Andrew Anger was there. It's a sight folks in Holbrook here never wanted to see. Aegean Pizza, a staple in this community for nearly 50 years, closed, <laughs> shut down for good here in the Sunvet Mall. It's kind of emotional. I never thought I'd feel this way about a pizzeria, but <laughs> we spent all our childhoods coming here. Ruhan Chaudhry wanted yeah. one last slice of Aegean Pizza, a taste of his childhood, but it was too late. The famed pizzeria ran out of food at 4.30 Saturday afternoon. We just couldn't keep up. Then we just kept coming and then coming and then coming. It, it, was, it was fantastic. Owner Harry Ross says at 9.30 in the morning, 90 minutes before opening, people were lining up to get one last pie. I always had that, that little bit, of, I don't know what it was, but it had a certain taste to it that always was great. A couple weeks ago, Aegean informed its loyal customers it would be closing today. The Sunvet Mall, Aegean's home since 1947, was sold to a developer, so the pizzeria would have to go. Today, the last pies were baked and boxed. These are the final ones. John Catinos has been making the pizza here for 40 years, and today, this was one of his busiest. How many pies did you guys make today? Between five to six hundred. That's a lot. It's sad to see him go, right? Oh my God, yeah, I don't know. It's not gonna be the same. For Harry and his customers, today was a bittersweet day. We used to actually walk as kids across the overpass and come just get pizza, go to Toys R Us. So it's uh, sad to see everything one by one just like slowly closing up. Harry says all the love and memories were overwhelming, but he says he owes it all to Aegean's original owners who entrusted it to him. Elias Saudis, John Sopasis, Mike Zervos, they were the founders of Aegean Pizza. They allowed us to continue it. So I asked Harry, who honestly has sauce and flour running through his veins, could he open up again somewhere else? Well, he didn't want to tip his hand, but he said there could be a second act for Aegean sometime soon. We'll have to wait and see. We're in Holbrook, Andrew Enger, News 12, Long Island.